going on? How's everyone doing? Shout out to you. Everybody else who's cool with Colin. Chucky! I didn't say. Eat your popcorn. <laughs> and your Coca Cola and relax. <clears throat> anyway, tell Colin. I'm rich. What's going on? This is Colin. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a great day so far. We've got a good one in front of Judge Simpson. Landlord tenant matter. Ah, Judge Simpson's in a good mood today because he handles this well. I don't know how I don't know if he would have on another day. I don't know. You watch it, you let me know. This is funny and kind of sad at the same time. Funny sad. Sad funny? I don't know. You be the judge. Before I hit the play button, you know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe to your jump kick backflips. Let's go. You do the same, sir. Thank you. And go Terps. I know that <laughs> will upset you. Don't worry about it. Just thought I needed to tell you. I'm sorry. I, you, 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 you went foggy on me, sir. I didn't hear you. I'm, yeah, sorry. I'm, sure, I'm sure I did. <laughs> Take care, Bye sir. Now. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lisa Reppert versus Leon Brown and Melinda Brown. Yes, ma'am. Or I'm sorry, Your Honor. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I'm Lisa, I'm Lisa Reppert. <laughs> okay, that's an unnamed iPad. That's Miss Reppert. And do I? And I see Leon Brown. You're at the 14A. You're in Celine. Yes. Okay, sir. You need to unmute, Mr. Brown. We're sending a clerk in to help you unmute, okay? Oh, can you hear us, Mr. Brown? It's muted. Can you hear it? No. Yes. Go ahead and keep just start talking. Okay, we can hear you now. Okay, yes, I'm Leon Brown. I have a letter from my wife uh, with power of attorney. Uh, she has my two year old grandson right now. She's okay. Signed, she signed and dated it. Okay, you're good. Okay. And I take it that is Melinda Brown is your wife. Yes. Okay. All right, real good. Okay, this is a termination of tenancy claim um and i guess was there a was there a lease on this premises yes there was no written lease there was an oral agreement your honor i yes. have i have a problem with that because i signed a five-year lease with option to buy my wife's a pet groomer and she got a percentage of the grooming and we were going to open boarding for dogs and she was going to get a percentage of that I signed for me and my wife, and she signed and dated it, but she didn't give me a copy of it. So now she's lying that there wasn't one. And at the beginning, I told her I could not rent a place like that because it, she need, I needed to move her out, move us in, redo everything. And I couldn't rent because I couldn't do all that work and then have to move in a month or whatever. So we did a lease agreement on paper that she didn't give me a copy of. That's what she's going off of now, that the person that I signed this with isn't her. It's all been lies and fraud, my whole tenancy. And I got a- Okay, hold, hold on. Okay. So I didn't even know if this was real. I didn't even know if this was real or if it was fraud. Okay, so hold on.
to the reference, are you claiming rent or you want possession of the premises? Uh, possession of the premises, uh, order of eviction, and money damages. Okay. And your um, honor, and your honor in, in relation to the lease that Leon is talking about, um, he has a propensity to exaggerate and distort um, and claim things uh, at a much later okay. date. All right. But, we we can stop that now because uh, I'll just assume everybody's a liar and we'll go there. Okay. So we'll just work from that perspective. I'm not going to listen to all of that. I'm looking to make sure that all of the paperwork. Okay. So there's a problem here. The notice. The notice to quit that you given the court or that was served on them on July 8th, or so it says. Is a non payment. Saying that they owe fifteen hundred dollars. That's correct. In in addition, um, he owes consumers uh, propane. Okay. Uh, All right. But then, I have another notice. But I don't have the court copy. I have another notice saying that you're terminating his tenancy, but I don't have the court's copy. But he has a copy. That would tell me how long a period in time you gave him. But regardless of that, and then have a health hazard. What are you? That was served on 725. All right. And then the only complaint I have is a termination of tenancy complaint. But I don't have a proper notice in the file. A notice for, for a what termination. you're on? Pardon? There was a there was a 30 day notice to quit that was um, sent on June 20th, 2024. There was a seven June day. June 20th. Yes, sir. And there was a letter. I don't have that. That was filed. It was filed with the with the complaint. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I've got because you've got a lot of paper in here, most of it unnecessary. I have a demand for possession non-payment of rent that was served on July 8th on purportedly served on July 8th to Mr. and Mrs. Brown. That's a seven day notice for non-payment. That's that says he owes $1,500. There's then a lot of other paperwork, not a statutory notice. I then have a demand for possession termination of tenancy due to unlawful drug activity that was served on July 31st. I have nothing to indicate any drug activity, but whatever. Um, I, have, I have exhibit. That... All right, this case is a giant mess. <laughs> it's a giant mess. She's pretty much accusing the tenant of doing everything. Everything she could possibly do to get him out of there. But he he's already said he no longer lives there. He's just trying to get his stuff out. Or maybe he hasn't said that yet. Maybe I'm foreshadowing a little bit or spoiling a little bit. It's not much of a spoiler. Giant mess. We're not even halfway through this video yet. And it gets better or worse, depending on your point of view. That's that I can show you. Ma'am, ma'am, you're telling me what I have in my file. I'm letting you know what I have in my file. So I have those two notices. I then have another notice. This is crazy. Demand for possession, damage, health, health hazard to premises, 
which was served on 725. So I have that notice. I then have, along with a bunch of other paperwork, I then have another notice that indicates that it was served on June 20th, saying that they had to move by August 3rd at 5 p.m. That's the 30 day notice. And That's the that 30 day notice. That was supposedly served by first class mail on June 20th. That's correct. That's correct. And then I have a termination case. So I have all of these conflicting notices. So which one are you trying to proceed on? I, I want the judgment of possession. I want the termination of tenancy, order of eviction with money damages. Oh my God. Right. Okay. See, she wants everything. She's trying hard. She's trying hard. Just wait till you hear his side. That was not an answer to my question. I'm sorry. Um, I'm Here's the thing. I'm going to. Your Honor, can I speak? No. Okay. Because right now, this paperwork is all a mess. Because yeah. I have a non payment. of rent i've got all of those other notices in even if i ignore all of those other notices and i'm not sure that i can because they overlap i then have a termination of tenancy that it's terminated claiming that he's a trespasser which i don't know how that would even be applicable but then i have terminated by notice to quit and i presume you're going on the june 20th notice to quit but he's saying he's got a lease. Your Honor, if I may interject. Um, Who I'm are you? Pardon me? Who are you? Okay, I'm her father. I'm the one that delivered the papers to Celine. And I delivered uh, the papers. They were date stamped on um, July 13th. Um, at that time, uh, there was a big stack of papers. There was a complaint uh, filed for non-payment of rent. There was a complaint filed for um, damage to the property. And there was a complaint filed for um, recovery of possession. Uh, approximately uh, a few days later, my daughter got a call. She was in Nashville uh, that the paperwork was uh, filed wrong. And so she asked me, since I live in Toledo, to go down there and straighten it out for her. When I went there, they told me I had too many, too much paperwork uh, that I didn't need the complaint, um, complaint form for the non-payment of rent and for the complaint also for damages to the property. Uh, so I had to rip those out. And the clerk there said the exhibits or the attachments that we had to the um, complaint for recovery of possession would be satisfactory. Um, concerning those different terminations, he was given a 30-day notice on- Sir? Sir, I have no idea what the clerks may have told you. You have no idea I, what? I don't the have any him. of that stuff. Well, what your Honor, I have is a complaint for termination of tenancy. That's the only complaint I have. Okay. And I can I have copies of the original complaint that it contained all three. I don't know how you would do all three, but okay. 
The only one that I have is a termination of tenancy. <clears throat> well, that's the most important. Your Honor, can I speak? Go ahead. Briefly. I have already been forcefully terminated. <laughs> they they have came to my house uninvited. Arguments after arguments traumatized my grandson, my daughter, my son is uh, mentally ill under treatment. He just got dropped off at the house by the state of Michigan, DHS, and they had the blo driveway blocked and the house wide open. The, and it has been a nightmare. And I've been out since July 3rd, July 29th, I've been out of there, but I've been trying to recuperate my property. But I can't do that because I keep having them pull in uninvited. You're supposed to have a 24 hour notice. Mm -hmm. I've had the why are they why are you going to the property? Uh, because the grass has not been cut. I'm getting complaints from the township and the neighbors uh, about about the amount of junk that's uh, being dumped on the land, uh, the amount of boats that were stored on the land. And he had stopped he had stopped cutting the grass. So that's why we went onto the property to get the grass cut. Did you block the driveway? No, it's a yes. huge driveway. And we blocked, Your Honor. My son is mentally ill. The Department of Health and Human Services had to take him to a gas station where I could pick him up because he was scared to go there. I mean, <laughs> he's really <laughs> under in, intensive care. And this is all a smoke screen because she's committed fraud with the banks and was using that uh, objection your honor she was using that First of all, <laughs> that's yes. irrelevant your honor, to an eviction this, you guys, your honor, you guys are so smoke mouse. screen all right let's just say when the judge laughs at you when you object to something yeah it's not going well it's not going well ah uh, again this is a mess this is why I say it's funny, sad, sad, funny. I don't know. I don't know, but we got a second date. And trust me, I will be watching the next one. She's She's got problems with the bank. They wouldn't accept no my payment. They wouldn't accept my payment or let me open an escrow account because of her fraud. That uh, Objection, Your Honor. That's uh, completely false. Were you there? Were you there? Sorry, I this is the case where that attorney reached out from like out of state asking you, this is that case. So my understanding is they weren't talking to an attorney. Who? Last name was Sanders. Who was talking to? I believe it was somebody that was having an attorney represent them? We received an email from <laughs> I don't, yeah, but I don't have anything. Okay. Oh, that's the one. Okay. All right, folks. So I have already been evicted. I don't, I, I will not step foot back on the property. Well, they're claiming a whole lot more. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to set it for a final settlement conference. September 10th, 2024 at 9 a.m. at the 14A1 location. Everybody needs to be here in person. Your Honor, can I have yes. time? Can I have time to get an attorney? Because she you have time. She, she's you have you, time, sir. You can get an attorney anytime her, between now and the 10th. She's using her father as an attorney, and I believe that oh. he doesn't have a license. Okay. Well, Your Honor, Your okay. Honor, if I may speak, I'm her father. I am an attorney. I am licensed to practice in Ohio. I did make an attempt to get temporary admission to practice in the state of Michigan. I had a sponsoring attorney lined up. At the last minute, he backed out. 
I tried to find another sponsoring attorney. I called the economic um, disaster we, unit or recovery received, unit. Of, sir, we received all of that information. Okay. You can't proceed as a licensed attorney without temporary admission. They gave you the process by which you'd have to do that. That's right. Well, that's right. So I am acting pro se and my father is here as my agent and my witness. Okay. You guys like to use a lot of big legal words and have no idea what they mean. So here's what's going to happen. Kind of a soft sit thing. My agent and my, I'm here on my own behalf as my agent and my witness. Ah, oh, man. Ah, this is going to be fun. September 10th in person. Let's go. All right. I'm going to let this video play out. There's, we'll see. We'll see. Last time I got into a landlord tenant case, I was completely wrong. So I'm not making an opinion who's right and who's wrong on this one. But yeah, the guy no longer lives there. Just saying. All right. Letting it play out. You guys are awesome. Have a great rest of your day. I will be going live later. Hope to see you there. If you haven't done it already, please hit that like button. All right. Until next time. Bye. Understand this. Everybody needs to be in my courtroom September 10th, 9 a.m. in person. Sir, if you want to get an attorney, you have plenty of time between now and then to get an attorney to represent you on the matter. Thank you so much, Your Honor. Thank you, folks. September 10th, 9 a.m. Can I just say that I've been evicted and I will not be back at the property? Well, I don't know what you're saying. All I'm saying is I'm not making any ruling. Everybody needs to be here September 10th, 9 a.m. Anybody got anything else? You really probably don't want to say anything else. Thank you so much, Your Honor. Great. Everybody have a wonderful holiday. We'll see you on the 10th. Thank you. Yes.